Hey, hey everybody. Hey everybody. <laughs> We're uh, doing another video yeah, on the Gardner and Emily channel. I beeth Gardner, she beeth Emily, mm -hmm. and today we're looking at. Damn, that's interesting. This, I'd never heard of this subreddit before. I think I've, you know, seen it in passing, but I don't, don't believe I subscribe. The most interesting place on Reddit, and I am uh, intrigued. Mm. Let's do this. Between the 1940s and 1970s, several high <laughs> schools, including Harvard and Yale, took mandatory nude photographs of all freshman students. Damn, that's, that's interesting. That's like, that's a long time. Yeah. In the 70s were not that long ago. What? Who did this? Whose idea was this? This this all goes back to my theory that colleges are just uh, institutions of the new world order uh, trying to de uh, deprive people of their individuality and uh, humiliate them and, and you know, ruin ruin uh, any semblance of moral decency go black bears <laughs> i didn't go to Maine, but no, my brother to... did a lot of my family did yeah. one of my best friends did love you ari i went to johnson and wales in providence um and I, it, this just reminds me of when i got my id picture taken fully clothed uh thankfully <laughs> I, I just remember like waiting in line to take my picture and the fir the person who was like right in front of me like they got to take at least two different pictures mm -hmm. and then when it was me I, I just remember the camera being like angled up and like I was saying like when we when we did those videos on our couch the camera angle was not very flattering and it was like worse than that so my ID picture like it was awful I looked like a bullfrog and I just remember like seeing that angle and being like, oh, that's not going to go well, but maybe they'll let me take another picture. Did they? No, they just took the world's worst picture of me. And we're like, yep, keep that on your ID card for the next four years. You need it to get into all the buildings and get on the bus and get into your own dorm. All right. I just had an idea. Let's rate yeah. each of these as how interesting okay. they are. Uh, what would you give this one? Like a, like I find I found it quite shocking, so I, I would I would give that a, a nine. A nine, okay. I'd say probably a, a six. Stephen King in the seventies and Stephen King in his seventies. Mm -hmm. I like how they spelled his name differently. <laughs> uh, how? <laughs> I mean, no, I two. Yeah, that's a, we're Mainers. That's a one for me. Yeah, you can't you can't shock us with any any Stephen King. Nonsense. Right. Dude got hit by a car because he was reading while on a walk. What a weirdo. <laughs> Who reads? Next. Not me, clearly. <laughs> Robin Williams, in every movie he filmed, he asked the production company to hire at least 10 homeless people. During uh... his entire career, he helped approximately 1,520 homeless. That's sweet. That is really sweet. Oh, R.E.P. Yeah. Uh, Robin Williams, one of the good ones, I think. Yeah. Um, mm. Damn, that's interesting. <laughs> what would you rank this one? Uh, I don't know. I'd say, I'd give it a 15, 20. 15 out of 20? Yeah. Because he helped approximately 1,520 almost? Yeah. I'll, I'll agree with that. Nice. I don't know if I found it interesting so much as heartwarming and yeah. wholesome but next scotland's baby box free essentials for every newborn to give them the best star oh uh, dude no we should have stuff like that here it's yeah. like it only makes sense i would rate this as a as a as an interesting fairly interesting yeah i'd say um i'd say probably uh seven out of ten a lot of countries do this kind of thing mm -hmm. and it's like should happen here yeah. in my country just like we should have trains in my country where we don't have any trains don't get them started oh don't get me started <laughs> midnight sun the lander didn't send it i guess i'd see this video wow i would absolutely hate that <laughs> i would hate that yeah i mean i get the seasonal affect depression but like i also would like it to be dark when i go to sleep what would you rank this one? Well, 
I saw that video last night, so I don't. I didn't find it. What? You, you're, you're. I already saw it, so it wasn't cheating on me. No, I don't even know where I saw it. It wasn't here, but I saw it, so it's not as interesting to me now. Yeah, I knew that this was a thing. I never saw like this animation, but uh, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say a five out of ten. Huge beer pack of three thousand two hundred forty-one cans. Three for sale. Three. What? Oh, no, you did say it right. I'm sorry. 3,241. That's what I said. <laughs> you, you just want to correct me all the time, and then you wonder why I jokingly correct you. <laughs> what? I said that right. You did. I'm really proud of you. Oh, my God. I was just, I've just been so used to you, like, getting everything wrong. Yeah, damn. That's interesting. That's interesting, isn't it? Isn't that interesting? That you just expect me to be wrong 10. about everything? Wrong. Um, what would you give this? <laughs> <laughs> I would give it... I don't know. I mean, that's like... I don't find it interesting. I'm gonna be real like honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could probably fit like six nine-year-olds in that box. How would you get that? Oh, I guess you could use like a dolly or something. But yeah. I... Before... I actually like critically read it. I was anticipating it to be for sale in Florida, so I was really like yawn. In Finland. Yes, I like beer in bulk in Finland. Apparently. Six thousand seven hundred and seventy three kroner. I yeah. said that right too. Thank you. Finland, Finland. I don't know Finland. if they actually use kroner there. What do they use? I don't, kroner in Finland? I don't know. I don't know. I... Let me know in the comments if you're from Finland. Barely Let me know what Finland. currency you use because I'm very interested. Yeah. Because damn if it's not interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm mad. I'm mad. Foreign <laughs> Nothing more interesting than foreign currency. I don't even find American oh currency interesting. I you don't know, like numbers. I, like, I hate when numbers. When I was like 16, I entered a redesign the American dollar contest. I'm not even kidding. I did that. Of course you did. Yeah. And I came in like eighth place out of like 500 people. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I find money interesting, damn it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> That's what I get. Yeah. Not to one up you, but uh I had a second grade boy tell me that if if we ever make a three dollar bill in America that he thought I should be on it. Wow. So because I'm <laughs> awesome. I don't know if a second grade. And is and you know what? what? You know what? You know what he said to me like two weeks before? What? We got to know each other real well during during uh, COVID child care. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he knew my full name was Emily Kate Simonton, and he told me more like Emily Great Simonton. So. More like Emily Kate and Ashley Olsen. God. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's been making this joke since the day he learned my middle name. Emily Kate and Ashley too. What? That's hilarious. You don't think that's hilarious? No. Wait, All right. Ever wonder why the utility company tries to keep the trees trimmed away from overhead power lines? Hey, I read that correctly too. You did, even though he he didn't write it correctly, or she, whoever wrote it. That's pretty. That's. That's. I mean, I've seen that before, but that's pretty interesting. Not yeah. this video specifically, but I've seen this kind of stuff. I'm a big, I'm a big uh, infrastructure nerd. We've talked about this before on the channel. I like infrastructure. I like when I was bored when I was delivering furniture for a living, and we'd go on deliveries, and I would like look at the power lines and be like, oh, that's a T9 15 junction, or whatever, or oh, they have, they, oh, they only have uh, cable internet here, or they have fiber optic internet in this neighborhood. Buddha tire in the back of an auto shop. Yeah, that didn't just happen. That's kind of, that's, I mean, that's, well, yeah. it's not, it's not like, damn, that's interesting that happened naturally. It's just, damn, that's interesting. Someone took the time to, to make that. I don't find that interesting. Four out of ten. It's a pile of trash. I'd say that's a, that's a... It's a pile yeah, of trash. trash. Isn't is. that what most art is these days? The highest crime rate per capita of any city in the world is at the Vatican City where an average of 600 crimes are committed per year despite only having 800 residents. 
There's a there's a joke that I'm not gonna make about <laughs> Vatican City crimes. Let's just say that. Chicago local number one iron workers remake the iconic lunch atop a skyscraper photo that was originally captured in 1932. Oh, it gives me anxiety. Yeah. I am afraid of heights. I'm afraid of falling, yeah. which is like the bigger, the bigger side of that coin. <coughs> yeah. This uh Ooh, makes me wanna throw up. I mean, it's like, I, I find it cool when people, like, recreate old photos and stuff, but I... Ugh. Yeah, I don't, I don't no. like it. Oh, it, like, it's it's making me feel, like, uncomfortable in this chair. Well, you know, at least these guys are wearing hard hats. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. In the moment, a retired British Royal Marine with Parkinson's disease sees his life change in seconds thanks to the advanced techni technique of deep brain stimulation. This is off. I just wanted to mark what your tremor is like. Okay, you happy for that to go ahead? Yeah. Right then, with your right hand, if you possibly can, touch your nose, touch my finger. Mm. Okay, and the real test. Do you think you could pick that up for me? Mm. Should we switch it on? Ah. Right? Ah. That's it. Does that feel better? That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try and do these assessments again? With this hand only, and with your right index finger, touch your nose, touch my finger. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's <laughs> Okay, you're right. Try picking that cup up for me with your right hand. Well done. That deserves a round of applause. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that made me tear up. That was that was really yeah, nice. Yeah, that was sweet. Yeah, I love I love seeing medical clients like help people. Mm -hmm. That's so great. Yeah. I think that's a good place to end it, Emily. What do you think? Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Let me yeah. wipe my tears. Yeah. Um, well, before we end it, though, what would you rank that one out, as a, oh. out of, on the damn that's interesting scale? A hundred out of ten. A <clears throat> hundred out of ten. I'd say I'm not quite so generous. I'd say. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think anything here was truly yeah. a ten. No. But I, th I think that was a, that was probably the best thing we've seen. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate yeah. you, as always. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing on the, on the channel here. Um, Emily, do you have any advice for the fine folks out there? Don't be an incel. Don't be an incel. Also, leave a comment. Yeah, oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> that too. That too. If you don't get why I said that, watch our previous video. Yes, exactly. Yeah, watch our last video. Yeah. All you right. know, if I can actually edit it in time to post it, because we're kind of cutting it close with recording these ones. Yeah, yeah, we're recording, we're cutting it real close. Guess what I'll be doing all day tomorrow? Editing. Yeah. Mm, me too. All right, that's it. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>